What number is this? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This would be 17? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes. See? I know how to do math. I was daddy. What do you want? Hi. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, there's something moving. <laughs> I was truly confused about it was. What do you want? Just to bother me? Thanks. You, do you have a voice or no? No? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with my part three, which is the last part of my May wrap up. I read a total of 22 books this month. I'm going to talk about the last six books that I read. If you guys want to check out part one and part two, I'll leave cards for them both up there and you guys can watch those as well. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the 17th book that I read this month is The Unspoken by Thomas Faley. I gave this book a 1.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. It's not a bad book, don't get me wrong, I'll get into that later. But it just wasn't for me, so I only gave it a 1.5. Five years ago, six children were the only remaining survivors of a fire that took the lives of every adult in a religious cult called the Divine Path. A few days prior to his death, the leader of the cult, Jacob, prophesied that the six children would end up dying from their worst fears, and this would signal the start of the apocalypse and the new world. Five years later, after the mysterious death of one of these six children, they all come back to their hometown of Meriden to pay their respects, and they realize that the cult may not actually be behind them. I don't think this book was bad, it just didn't catch my attention, and I wasn't flipping the pages like I needed to know what happened next. I thought it was very predictable, and I was able to call the ending and all the plot twists very easily. And I like that. I like not knowing what's going on and having to, like, guess everything, but it was just so obvious what was going to happen. The 18th book that I read this month is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by David Levithan and Rachel Kahn. I gave this book a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. This book follows a girl named Lily who decides to leave a redskin notebook in the stacks of the Strand in order for a boy to find it. So when Dash stumbles upon this notebook, he realizes that there are a bunch of clues in it in order to find the owner. So Dash does all the clues and he decides that he is going to leave clues of his own in order for the owner of the notebook to find him. So this sets them both on this big adventure to find each other and I did like the book. It was cute but I didn't think it was anything special. The book is told in dual perspective, Lily and Dash. I thought Lily was very naive and it kind of bothered me how naive she was. And then I just found Dash to be very pretentious. I couldn't connect with either of the characters at all. I think I would have enjoyed the book a lot more if I read it when I was like 15 or 16. I think it just wasn't my style. I think I'm a little bit too old for this book. A lot of people like this book, so I probably had higher expectations than I realized when I went into it. The 19th book that I read this month was Teenage Wasteland by Lynn Biderman and Lisa Pazer and I gave it a 2.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. This book follows a group of teenagers who are going through a weight loss surgery called Lap Band, and they enter the support group after their surgeries, and they call themselves the Teenage Wasteland. The book is told from three perspectives, Bobby, East, and Marcy, and through another girl in the support group named Char, who is East's best friend, who is extremely bubbly and full of life, they all become friends. Only Char is hiding a secret that may change everything. I think that each perspective was really cool to read from. Each character was unique in their own way and had their own story. I think that Marcy was hilarious and I loved how sarcastic and witty she was. Bobby was very relatable to me for all the things that he went through with football and his dad's expectations of him. I also had a personal experience kind of like what he had so I really liked Bobby. And then East's story was very heartbreaking. I liked her voice, but it was very depressing. I really like how the book dealt with difficult topics, but also kept it light at the same time, which made it not as hard to read. Personally, I did enjoy the book, but I only gave it 2.5 stars because I found it very slow and it wasn't that engaging. Like, I was able to put it down and I didn't really think about it when I wasn't reading it. So it wasn't like one of those books that I was like, oh my god, I need to know what happened. Like, I just... It was good, but it wasn't anything memorable to me. The 20th book that I read this month is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. 
Twas so good. Not as good as Cinder, but still very, very good. It's the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. You should all be proud of me because I finally have read the Lunar Chronicles. Not the whole thing. I haven't read Winter yet, but we're gonna get there. Me and you together. We're gonna get there. Don't you worry. But this I didn't like as much as Cinder. I found Scarlet to be kind of annoying and bossy and it was just like stop talking. I really liked how the book still had Cinder and all the characters from the previous book in them and I definitely preferred reading about Cinder more than Scarlet. But what are you gonna do? You know the book's called Scarlet so it's more about Scarlet than Cinder but... I still like that they were in it and Aiko is still adorable. I love her. 100% Captain Thorne was my favorite character. I am obsessed with Captain Thorne. I love him so, so much. I cannot get enough of him. He is so charming and witty and he is like my dream. Even though he's not a very good person, I still love him. We're, you know, Jay and Captain Thorne. Jay and Thorne. I think that sounds wonderful together. You know, fictional boyfriend. I love you. I can't really decide my feelings on Wolf yet because like I like him, but at the same time I'm like... You're terrifying and you scare me. But I want to like you, and I do like you, but like you could rip my head off in two seconds, and you know, that's not a good thing. That's not something you should look for in a man. It's not. But all in all, I think that Marissa Meyer did a great job with introducing new characters into the story, but still developing the old characters, which was really nice to see. The book was very fast-paced and thrilling, and I needed to know what happened. It felt like I was reading it for like 20 minutes, even though it took me like a day and a bit to read it. It felt like 20 minutes, that's how fast it was. And I just... It was good, but not as good as Cinder. The 21st book that I read this month is We Are the Goldens by Dana Reinhardt. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Nell and Layla are best friends. They're basically inseparable, so when Nell starts her first day at City Day High School, she expects things to be the same. But when Layla starts pulling away from her, she realizes that her sister may not be who she thought she was, and she discovers this big secret that Layla is hiding and she needs to decide whether or not to keep her sister's secret or to basically save her sister from herself. And it was really good. I was not expecting to like this book as much as I did. Like right from the start I was hooked. The writing is so unique. It's kind of like a letter to Layla and it was just really interesting to hear from Nell's perspective and her voice. It was just so cool to read. Like right from the beginning I was like Wait, wait, what's happening though? Like, I was able to call the big secret because it was kind of obvious, but that didn't take away from my enjoyment of the book. I still thought it was really well done. I think that the author did a really good job in portraying the struggle that Nell was feeling about what to do about her situation. The only major issue with the book that I had, which is why I ended up dropping a star, was that I think the ending came away too quickly. It's a very, very short book, and I think that I would have wanted it to be more developed. It kind of just got thrown in there, and you don't really know what happens with the situation. You just know what her decision was. But you don't know the aftermath, and I want to know what happened, and it just it bothers me that I'm never going to know because it's a standalone. I think overall the book was very good, and it taught an underlying message, which I really enjoyed. And the final book, my favorite book of the month, the 22nd book. I cannot with this book. It's Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is 100% my favorite book in the series so far. I have not read Winter yet, which is apparently amazing. But this book, guys, this book, 5 out of 5 stars, highly recommended. It. It's my favorite in the series. I love, 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 love Cress. She's so adorable. I just want to hug her. I just want to like squeeze her little face. And I love her. And there was so much Captain Thorn in this book, and y'all know... Now that you've watched this video... That I love me some Captain Thorn. So, you know, your girl was very happy about it. Your girl was very happy. And also, of course, the return of Aiko made me very happy. I love her. I think she's adorable and bubbly and full of life. And I just... I just love her so much. I just love all the characters in this book. I think it's incredible. Such a good series. I want winter in my life, like now. Right now. I loved how Cinder was so badass in this book. I'm glad Scarlet wasn't in there that much. Because I don't like you, Scarlet. I'm sorry. You're, you're, I'm sure you're a good person, but you annoy me. So, you know, I loved it. I loved it so much. That was weird how that book went on my face. It was like, meh. But I love this book. Okay, okay. Alright, guys. So that was the end of my May wrap-up part three. See one and two. Y'all can check that out if you're interested. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.
Hallelujah. I was going to say Infinite Playlist, but that is not the proper title of this book. I didn't check the author, so I'm not going to know it. I should probably do that. Boy, bo, bider, biderman. Hmm. What way should I hold it? I don't know.